Hello traders, FX Prep Collector here. Today is Sunday, May 14th, and this is my recap of the top view videos from Friday. And the Euro US dollar came in number one, so we're going to do a quick recap from the daily down to the one hour time frame. So on the daily, we had a big push down the last couple of days on the Euro dollar, especially looking at the dollar index and other dollar pairs. I still suspect that this is an A, three waves up for a B, and that we are in a wave C. At this point, I would say it's going to go at least down to the 50 or maybe even the 61.8 before it makes that impulsive move up, takes out Strutzer and ends up continuing the uptrend. I still think it's going to be a 1-2 and a wave 3 of wave 3. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame is this over here is definitely a downtrend and then this right here looks like one wave up A, three waves down B and this looks like another wave up for C, A, B, C or B is what I believe it is. This looks like a 1, 2 and this is all part of a wave 3. So I do believe that it needs to make a 4 or 5 save, maybe bounce off this 50% level, take out that structure. That's what is going to prove to me that the wave C is over and that we are back into an uptrend, most likely a wave 3 of wave 3. So let's take it right down to the 1 hour time frame. So on the 1 hour time frame I'm pretty confident that this move down is not over yet. So if we do see any pullbacks just like this back here 3 waves up impulsive down just like this one right here 3 waves up impulsive down then I'm definitely going to take that as an entry to go short since I do not believe that this move down is over. I suspect that it's at least going to go down to the 50% telling me that we most likely are going to still have some pretty decent sorting opportunities until we see a break of starts to the upside on about the four hour time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.